Welcome to the Pilates Show Monday, outside the Pilates studio, where we bring our Pilates brain and body into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about balancing the skull and neck. So here we are, we're gonna be using um, our spiky ball, one of our favorite props, to try to open up the fascia on the top of our head, our galea aponeurotica. And this is such an important piece of tissue to start to work and to hydrate for a lot of, a number of reasons, but especially for its connection into our neck muscles. So on our mastoid process, um, we have a, a fascial line where it shares the, the SEM and the trapezius and our scalenes kind of are sandwiched in the center. But when we were in embryo, our SEM and our trapezius was the same muscle. So it has connections also into the back of the body and into the skull, especially this kind of skull cap um, of the fascia of the top of our head. So if you get your spiky ball, this is really easy to do when you're on a break at, at the desk or you have a, a few moments, get your spiky ball place it on top of your head, pick a spot, and you wanna to start to move the tissue on the top of your head. As you do this, you wanna to try to relax into the sensation, letting go of your jaw, letting go of your collarbone, letting the hand and the arm be heavy. You can do a number of different spots depending on how much time you have. And what this is gonna to equate to is an easier and a freer neck and upper back. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. Please comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on our forum.